Good morning. This is Susan, and this is Susan's Ramblings. Today I'm going to show you how to make vanilla extract. I love making my own vanilla extract. I had a bunch of it, I was ready to decant it, and it disappeared. No more need to be said. They didn't know what it was, so when I did it, it went, went bye bye, okay? Anyway, all you need is some vanilla beans, which you can buy at a local grocery store. Yes, they're expensive, but the result is very, very nice. And then you use rum or some kind of vodka or some kind of liquor, I should say. I use vodka because... Um, I like the pudding taste of it. Some people use bourbon, some people use rum, but I prefer the vodka. I cut up the vanilla beans already. I took the, I don't know what it's called, seeds out of them. Was that what it's called, vanilla seeds? Anyway, I took them out of them, and I cut the beans into several pieces because there is flavor in all parts of that bean. So, I got a pint jar here. I got two beans. The more beans you use, the stronger your vodka is going to be, your vanilla is going to be. I'm going to place it in a funnel. Get all the beans off if I can. And then I will add the vodka to it, see? Just like that. That's all I do. And I fill, will fill up a jar with vodka. That's all there is to it. Isn't that easy? Very easy. Doesn't take much either. And then you take your lid. Now I guess I can use more vodka, vodka than that. There, yeah, my jar is filled. So I took my lid, my uh, funnel off. I put on my lid. I shake it up. Oops, I gotta get the lid on right. Or we're gonna have it all over the place before I get started. Shake it up. Put it in a dark, cold, cool closet, pantry, and wait six months. You will have vanilla extract. Some people strain the beans out, and then they dehydrate them, and then they make sugar. My beans that I used before got taken away. So you have to wait for the sugar one until I get dehydrated. All right, very simple, very easy, very well, good. Have a great day. Bye-bye.